Hi everyone, welcome to Punch Perfect Fitness. I'm Ollie Patterson, 10 and 0 professional boxer. Today's video, we're gonna be going over a textbook jab. Now with the jab, it's a bit of a gray area some, sometimes with some people because there's so many different variations of the jab. But when you're first learning boxing, this is the way you'll be taught. Uh, any good coach will teach you the same way as I'm gonna teach you because I've been taught by good coaches over the years and this is exactly how we were taught. So, when you get into a, you first, first of all, the main thing with boxing is it all comes from the feet. If your feet are wrong, then you're not going to be in a good position to throw punches, to, to take punches, to land punches. So first of all, your feet have to be right. So when you get in your stance, remember, you want your front toe, the front foot, the toe, and the back foot, the heel, in line, sort of with each other. So you don't want to be in line here, you don't want to be too wide. So you're just there. First, second of all, then I'll get my right hand and I tuck that on the chin, I get the elbow in nice and tight. And then with the front hand, I'm here. Like the shoulder is a little bit higher, the left shoulder is a little bit higher than the right shoulder. And then what that does there, by keeping my elbow tight here, keeping that shoulder here, so that's protecting my chin, that's protecting my body, and then I'm here. So I can see, I can see over my jet. I don't want to be too, too high. Here, because obviously, if I if I bring my hands too high, then I'm leaving my body exposed. If if I, unless I'm tucked right down, and also if they throw a shot, you can sort of hit yourself in the face with it, blind yourself. So I can't really see his right hand from here. So what I'm going to do, I just tuck it down here, so I can watch straight over my glove. So if you threw it, bang, I can block it there, but I'm not blinding myself with it too high. Now, what you've got now, you've got your left shoulder forward uh, higher, sorry, than your back. You want it forward more than square, you don't want to be square shouldered. And all, look, all I'm going to do from here is let it come straight out. So I don't, first of all, with the hand position, I don't want the hand position to be this, this way. I don't want it to be too much there. I want to try and keep it this way if I can, as much as possible, because then when I do it, it'll come bang and it'll whip straight over and I'm landing them two knuckles. The two big knuckles will land straight onto my opponent. So I'm here, bang. Now straight away, I've got my shoulder up, my chin's down, and I'm looking through my eyebrows down the end of this punch. So I'm looking at through my, down, the, down my arm with my eyes. So my eyes should be looking straight at where my knuckles are landing. So I'm here, and I'm there. And again, I'm ready, if I wanted to, to throw my right hand. I'm in a good position there, because my, my stance is what's keeping me in a good position. So there, I'm coming straight out. So I don't want to, when I throw the gel, I don't want to do that first. I don't want to drop it first. I just want to get it straight from here, from A to B. So there, no deviation in there whatsoever. And I'm there. Move around. And I'm there. Move around again. And I'm there. Moving around. Just turning that knuckle over. And then again, straight from there, I'm protected because I've got my shoulder high. I'm ready to throw another shot coming after that. And that's a solid jab, that's a textbook jab. I hope it helps. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments box. And please like, subscribe and share the channel. And I'll see you all soon. Take care.